welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have a drone for you guys. And honestly, I'm kind of blown away with the spec sheet and the price. So I purchased this from uh, Walmart for $21.99, uh, which is a ridiculously cheap price uh, for the spec sheet, which we'll get into. So it kind of blew me away. This is made by uh, Voyage Aeronautics. This is the VA-1000 compact folding drone. Uh, of course, it has um, HD uh, video um, with a uh, wide angle lens. Holy smokes, that's insane. I didn't even see that. Uh, just, oh, the heck that is. Something on there. Uh, it has, uh, oh, what the heck that is. It has uh, streams of videos to your phone, um, altitude hold, new obstacle avoidance training mode. That is insane. Six axis gyro. I don't know what the heck is on here. Uh, onboard HD camera, onboard video, indoor and outdoor, and uh, has. 200 foot range that's pretty impressive uh just gives you a little bit more information about the company i did have another drone from this company on here but it records in 720p to a sd card i don't recall the other one having an sd card so that blew me away has a new training optical avoidance thing and an ergonomic uh uh folding air pressure sensor automatically locks your altitude so that's the barometer sensor i was talking about uh Invincent six axis gyro for smooth, stable flying. Automatic starts land with a push of a button. Three speeds, which I love with the push of a button, and 360 stunts. I don't recall the other one having 360 stunts. Or maybe, no, it does. It did. I think it did. But that's impressive as well. And 200 foot range. Super, super nice. It just talks about some of the specs on the side as well. Kind of the same information over and over. But it's pretty. Uh, Pretty beefy stats there for the price. Um, it blew me away, $21.99. So let's go ahead and unbox this real quick. So let's go ahead and cut the tape. Uh, that. Let's check the box, the box is empty. We'll just go ahead and kind of put this in the background as well, you know. Oh, but it's gonna stay up and we have, looks like some accessories down here. So let's go ahead and cut all this. Uh, hmm. You know how, I'm not, I kinda don't wanna butcher the box. Cause honestly guys, uh, some of the products I don't keep cause you can't keep everything in this line of business. Uh, and I tend to sell this stuff that has a little bit of value. Is that screws holding it in? I've never seen that before. Let me grab a screwdriver. I think those are literally screws holding it into the plastic, I guess, so people, if they try to cut it out or whatever, make it harder to steal, I guess. I don't know, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. It's the first time I've seen it actually screwed, which makes sense. It's that much harder to steal. Please don't watch my video and then learn how to steal this. <laughs> so you just unscrew these, that is insane. Just like that. Oh, nothing to cut. Ooh, that is nice. We're about to look at that here in a second. Let's set that down. Go ahead and move these little screws out of the way and the blade. Set these here. Uh, let's break into this. Uh, I don't know how the heck this is taken. I'm just gonna cut it neatly down the side. I don't know how it opens. Ooh, a bunch of goodies. I like it. Now, the other thing I did notice about, um, let's see. Oh yeah, the controller. Well, we're not really gonna talk about that drone. Technically, I never did a flight for a drone. I feel so bad. Uh, I forgot and got rid of it. So technically, I never got a flight. Uh, I did when I actually sold it to the guy. Um, I did fly it for the first time and it flew. It was really windy and it did okay for the wind level. It was a really high level wind. Um, and the video work, everything just worked. It seemed to do really well. I forgot that you can arm the buttons uh, by pulling it inward at a 45 degree angle. 
That's like the Bugs 3 and other uh, altitude hold drones. I have to arm that way as well, so I completely forgot about that. So one thing I've noticed with this one, you get quite a bit of accessories, really smoke. Let's just start with this bag, why not? We're here, right? So first thing you'll notice is these little guards. I don't recall guards with the other one. Uh, so you get four motor guards. That's what kind of makes it indoor a little bit smaller. I kind of get that, uh, makes sense. You also get four replacement blades. Um, looks like these just pop on, or the, are they screwed on? Uh, these ones pop on with force, so nice, no screws needed. You get four blades, it does have their little design on the blade, that's just a little extra touch that makes it look nicer. They are labeled B2 and A2. So remember, they're always caddy quarter from each other, so this one would be like A2, example, A2, A2, B2, here, let me read and tell you for sure, because I don't want you to be using this as a guide. So that one is B. So your B is always gonna be diagonal from each other and your A's are always gonna be diagonal from each other. If you get them in the wrong place, it won't fly. It'll wanna flip on its back. It just does not work. So four props, four guards. These are snap-on guards, nice. So let's see how well they snap on. Oh <laughs> yeah, the easiest thing ever. And then, and then you have to pull this way, yep. Lock it that way. Pull that way, tail lock, slide out. Oh my goodness, that is that is genius. Everybody should do that. So you get four of those. Let's set it up like so. Four of those. A little bit closer. I'm kind of going through this stuff. It's a total of four of those. There's a bag. I'll set it to the side for now. We'll keep the drone here for now. You get. Hold on. Let's look in this bag. Nice. You get some good accessories in here. Holy smokes. This is a lot of stuff. For this is cheaper than the other one. I think Target was selling the other one for like 40 something dollars, like $44.99 or something like that, or 50, or no, maybe it was more. Do you remember how much that drone was, like $74? I think it was like $74 or something. That is insane to me. So not to say that it's not worth that. So it looks like micro USB wire, screwdriver, absolutely love that and a memory card reader with the logo on it. So this will allow you to save directly to the memory card, which gives you higher quality footage than Wi-Fi footage. Uh, like that's why you'll see the pro drones always have memory cards. Of course you have a feed return, typically at 720. Some of them, the higher end ones, do like 1080p or HD uh, uh, feed return. That's nice. You can use this for other devices like your cell phones if you wanna transfer data with the memory card, if you have like Android or whatever. It's just really nice to have a memory card reader. Love that touch. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't think it comes with an included memory card. Let me look before, nope, no included memory card. Memory cards have come down in price so much that it's just unbelievable. Set that here for now. Next is this mount. And I tell you what, it was effective. It mounts to the bottom of your uh, controller. Pull this up, has a little bit of foam, locks on. See that drawback? Uh, that will work just fine. Set that here. Uh, and then the controller itself. Yes, it's kind of small. I don't mind it. I have big hands and it's still fine. You have forward. Look at that. They even labeled it. That's what I love. Forward and back trim. Left and right trim. Labeled. Love that. Stunt button, which is your 360 button or flips or whatever. Speed button. Do these click in? Only the right one does. It's probably like click it once for photo and press and hold for video. I could almost guarantee it. Very intuitive, very easy to do. You don't have to take your hands off the controller. Makes perfect sense. Let's go ahead and use the included screwdriver. See, I love it. Technically it's not truly ready to run because you ready to fly, should I say, is because you still need uh, a memory card. I think you can still record to your phone. I believe so in the stream, I would imagine, or screen record at the very least. Looks like three AAA batteries, which I do have. I can run and get those. Nice little battery door with a captive screw. One of my favorite things. See, they think about stuff like that. Very important, which we'll get the batteries here in a second. Let's just put that here for now. Oh, let's see really quickly. Um, how does this mount the... Uh, actual like how well does that clip mount and do I, you trust it with an expensive phone right kind of important so it looks like you put these in first right and then you clip it on hold on make sure i got it right right 
Mm-hmm. Where do I put? Oh, I put this one on first. You put these in, and then you snap that one. Yep, not going anywhere. <laughs> I almost had to break it to get it off. So, yep, trust that to hold my phone. Set that down here. And then the main showstopper, the drone itself. So look at it. I love their sleek designs. Very good looking drone. There's the top of it. it has the aeronautics thing. Of course, you get a power button. Looking from the top, the blades are nice. How easy are they to pull off? Oh, there would be a little challenging. Sometimes they give you the tool. You just got to use a pair of pliers or just get under there with fingernail. Just pull up. Don't break your fingernails. Use pliers. Make sure you don't bend the blades. Make sure they're straight. You don't want them bent up or down. You want them as straight as possible. Just kind of look at the blades. If you need a little bending, you can bend these by hand. Uh, little logo there. It looks like some ventilation. Could appreciate that. The model number here. Nice. And then we'll start from the front. Obviously, your camera. Does it pitch? Oh, yeah. Looks like a pretty wide, uh, that may be a wide lens. I don't know, it says wide lens, so we'll see the footage. So the nice part is it adjusts. It's sticky enough to where it'll stay in that position, but it'll adjust, that's nice to know. It looks like, uh, I don't know if those are lights or the sensors. So let's turn on, see what's lights and what's sensors. So let's turn it on. Okay, cool. Love it, absolutely, and make sure they're all clicked in. Make sure they're all clicked all the way up. Absolutely love it. White for front, red for back, the way it should be. Your antenna, and those are actually sensors. This is a sensor, obstacle of winds. So you get two in the front, one on the side. Holy smokes. Two on the back, another one on this side. We'll test it, see how well it works. That's insane. And then you get... Looks like another sensor below. I don't know if that's, that's probably the barometer or optical flow or some kind of pressure, barometric pressure sensor. It tells the altitude. That is insane. So much technology. Memory card reader slot. So you can put your memory card in there. Man, that is nice. The battery, let's turn it off. Press and hold, let go. Very simple. Watch the antenna. Squeeze the pack and pull straight out. Wow, that is a very, very large battery. Holy smokes. Now, some of the writing is obstrued. It sucks, I wanna see. I can see that it says lipo. I will cut this great, honestly, just so I can see it and lose a little weight. Uh, it does say lipo, so it's a lipo battery. I'd like to see the voltages and like stuff like that. Like I'm almost tempted to literally break these. Hopefully not without damaging the battery. I just want to see. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference as far as like uh, strength goes. That little bit of plastic right here. Uh, of course, do not poke a hole in your battery. Please do not do that. I'm doing this to get this information for you guys. I'm going to cut this extra, those really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab batteries for the transmitter. I'm going to charge this battery and we'll be right back. And I'll tell you the million. I really want to know and to see if I can open this up and pop a battery in and somehow like solder a connector where I just pop it in and do like a piece of Velcro or something and then lock it in. I don't know if you could reach out to the company and buy more of these. I don't see why you couldn't. You'd have to pay for shipping and everything. I don't know what the cost of these are or if they're sold anywhere. Typically, something that sells at Walmart and like uh, Target typically doesn't um, sell extra batteries. Uh, I know like Pulsar, like certain things do. I've seen cheaper helicopters that are sold that I have from Walmart had extra batteries. I'll look it up. It may have extra batteries for this, or there may be some company, some Chinese company overseas that has a very similar drone or a very similar design. You can just use the battery. So I really want to know what voltage this is, the capacity. So what we'll do is we'll charge it. We'll get some AA batteries. We'll come right back with some snips. And I will show you this voltage. If I have to put a piece of tape or something, it's not going to bother me. And it's not going to hurt anything without, of course, don't damage this battery. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, we charged the battery on the drone. Uh, we added three AAA batteries. I would recommend Alkaline to the controller. Uh, we did not download the app. 
because that will be in another video. I will download the app. I'll have it on my phone. I'll have my wife use her phone to actually film the flying. And I'll do picture in picture because I've been working on my editing uh, with the footage of the actual uh, SD card. Or uh, maybe I'll screen record so you can see what, what it looks like. SD card will typically always be better footage. And by the way, the manual is hidden in this little slot back here be behind this card. There is even a notation if you look this way. It says pull from this side. Uh, but uh, there is like back there, there was the actual manual and a little card that talks about Android and um, Apple, uh, excuse me, Apple, uh, the QR code or they get the app. You're gonna need the app if you wanna use the streaming. You can't fly this without the app. And some of these will actually even let you fly with the app. I'm not sure about that part. Um, so, for as far, far as the battery goes, I did cut the plastic off of it. And sure enough, I don't know if I put this in. There's not, it never punctured through the battery. But it is almost impossible to read what the battery is. I don't know if that's a 9, an 8. It's large. The battery does go all the way to back here. It's one of the biggest batteries I've ever seen in this size of a drone. I would, I, if I had to guess, it's at least uh, between six to a thousand. I don't think it's a thousand ten. I think it's either six ten, seven ten, eight ten, or nine ten. In my opinion, um, I looked everywhere in the box, could not see it. So if anyone can make that up, I think there's a way to figure out like the milliwatt hour multiplied or something. Three point seven milliwatt. It tells you the milliamp or something. I can't remember if anyone knows that formula as well. It is LiPo 3.7 volts. That's all it needs for the size of a drone. The motors, I can measure them for you guys. They're not very large. They're six or seven mil little motors. Um, it does have lights. I turn it on to make sure it works. It does have red for the back, white for the front. So, well, I can't fly it right this second. I'm going to wait. We're going to have to do one more movie magic cut because of the uh, my wife's on, currently on a call. So, I can't take off and fly. But I do want to show you. The lights, white lights, red, uh, battery fits in perfectly. Uh, you can see all the obstacle avoidance sensors. And I did discover a little bit more information. This is supposed to be a wide lens. We'll see about that. Um, so really quickly, I don't know if I talked about this. Calibration is both sticks to the right and a 45 degree angle is how you calibrate it. It's actually in the manual. If you take both sticks and just pull them in, is how you unlock the motors. If you don't wanna do the one button takeoff for landing, uh, lock them, do it again. It'll unlock the motor. It'll stop the motors. So that's important if you crash. You don't want to hit that land button because it's going to try to find slowly land. You're going to want to immediately emergency stop the motors so you don't burn the motors out or damage them. Uh, the, cell, the phone case does really hold on her firm. So I found out some more information as well. I want to tell you as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to cut down the videos. Um, if you... Press this, you take off, press it again, you land. Uh, the stunt button, you can actually press the stunt button and immediately go right, flip, left flip, front flip, or back flip. Love that feature, that's my favorite one. Um, and then this one is one, two, three speeds, but if you press and hold for two seconds, it'll put you into obstacle avoidance mode or training mode. So it'll actually activate these sensors and it will keep you from wrecking into like a bench or a TV or something like that. I don't know how good it works. It needs to be tested and literally like try to run into something, see if it stops you. It does also limit the speed of the vehicle to a lower speed and it does limit the height and pitches. So keep that in mind when you're in training mode. Uh, you can easily exit by just pressing and holding for two seconds. Again, it'll uh, stop when you press and hold for two seconds. It'll be a long beep, it says in the manual. Uh, use alkaline batteries. They just last and perform much better. Uh, we talked about the right click, how you click it in and take a picture, press and hold for a couple seconds for video, off and on button, you have to press and hold to turn it off so you don't accidentally bump it, like that feature. Uh, what else am I looking at it? The memory card is a great idea, so you don't, if you don't have memory on your phone or you want a better quality, it will be better than transmitting, obviously, through Wi-Fi. You are gonna need a phone that has Wi-Fi. You technically don't need data. You're gonna need data to download and get the app 
once you're in your app, you're gonna have to connect to the Wi-Fi of the air of the drone. Typically, the last numbers of the drone will be the password. So be like HD, whatever drone, and they'll have like a set of numbers. Those are typically your password. Um, just to let you know. Um, what else? Um, really, that's the gist of it. This battery. I don't know if you can get replacements for it. I honestly thought about modifying mine. If I really like this drone for twenty-one dollars, of course. Uh, I thought about literally cutting, removing the battery in the tray, just one, two, three screws. This comes right apart. I already tested it. Uh, and has wire and putting a connector on it, cutting this here, making this more of just a battery latch door system, soldering on this other end, a long wire that will come out, uh, a connector, obviously on this end, connect the battery, shove it in, clip, the back part only, and have a removable battery. If I really like the way this fly and behaves, or I have enough requests, I wouldn't mind doing that. Mind you, you're gonna need a soldering gun, you're gonna need some extra wire, and the connector of your choice it could be JST, or those white little connectors, I forget what they are, I think they're JST 2.0s, or something like that, M 2.0, Micro 2.0, or something like that, I can't remember. Please forgive me if I give you uh, the wrong name. Uh, but it's the common ones. Um, what else? Off and on button. I shared that with you guys. Hopefully. Uh, antenna. Just be careful not to pinch it in the battery. Um, this is the, the barometric pressure sensor or whatever. It's not optical flow. It's barometric pressure. It does work. Um, I really recommend calibrating it off the bat. I really recommend turning it straight like straight away from you from the controller like this if they had headless mode it help orientation and the return button keep that in mind if you have a drone similar to that um and your first flight should be indoors you should put on these guards for the first flight and you probably if you've never flown drones before it's not a bad idea to do training mode but i want to try it first to make sure it doesn't do anything wonky really quickly it does fold whoops this one first then this one this one first no this one first than this one. That's how it folds. It does make a smaller imprint, a little more subcompact. You can slide it in your pocket. Not bad. Seems to be like pretty rigid, not terrible. I'm twisting through the battery. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, this grate isn't meant to hold it. That part and that part and all the rest of this will hold it in. Obviously, there's a wire soldered in, water holding it, wire holding it as well. It's not gonna, this battery is not gonna come out. Technically, that is, if you cut these little pieces right here, technically that is rate reduction. So if you add these, these are adding weight, and then you're reducing weight. I know you need a lot more, uh, but just to keep in mind, it does technically uh, remove it. By adding these, you are losing anywhere from a minute to two, whatever, depending how you fly. It, it does lose time. Let me show you really quickly. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but they snap on very easy. I just, they snap on a click like that. And they stay on, see that? It does work, and then you just click, pull down. Very, very simple, very easy to use. The props just pop on and off, no screws. Uh, I'm just genuinely impressed what you're getting for $21.99. I'll double check on the price, but I'm almost positive I paid $21.99 for this. It was from Walmart. I've seen it before at Target and other retailers online, of course, as well. I'm sure Amazon and other retailers sell it as well. I think the brights, the lights are bright. You can see them. Uh, the front of it does look pretty similar to the back, so far away. It does say 200 feet range. I wouldn't be out there line of sight for sure. Um, so yeah, I think the first flight indoors, we're gonna do no app, no memory card. And then the outdoor flight, we'll install the app, we'll pop in the memory card, and we'll also do picture in picture for you guys. So that's the way I'm gonna handle this, because. The first part of the video is like already 12 minutes or so. This is already approaching nine. So what we'll do is we'll pause it right here because I just wanted to make sure to do it once over. Uh, please read the manual. We'll give you other information you may need right below if you need any other tips or tricks. Uh, we'll clear the table. We'll calibrate it. And we'll do a quick indoor flight once she gets off her call. And go from there and then i can't give you a final pin on it yet because it does need to install the app and do the outdoor flight just make sure it's not a windy day so we'll be back as soon as she gets off her call we'll be back to do the first uh indoor flight okay so we are back um 
I just wanted to do the indoor flight. I made sure the battery was topped off. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do the app, picture in picture, her filming with another phone, everything outside. Uh, we'll try to find a day that's not too windy. Um, so for now, no SD memory card. We're gonna first turn on, turn on a flat level surface, point it away from you, um, just to help orientation. Then we're gonna turn on the thing. It beeps twice when it turns on. You're gonna go up, down, flash this for a second, go solid. Remember, in, in, should unlock the motors. In again, should turn them off. Of course, you have your speed, stunt. I went over all the buttons. Let's go ahead and do one button takeoff. I'm not sure how high it's gonna go, so I'm gonna kinda need to, let me back up a little more, just in case it shoots up to the ceiling. Uh, I'm gonna try to give you a full range of how it like performs and how close it gets to the ceiling to give you an idea. So let's hit the one button takeoff. Not bad, I'd say maybe three and a half, four feet. Let me come down a little bit. Ooh, it's touchy on the controls. We come back a little bit more, about right there. And I'm gonna let it go. It is drifting, so let's go ahead and see what it's doing. So we're gonna do right, 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 right. Left, left, ooh. Which way is it going? Back. Kinda almost need to adjust it yourself. It tends to wander a little bit. The response time on the motors is fast. That's rate two. That's rate three. Oh, it is fast. Oh my goodness. We'll go back to rate one. I hit a couple lefts. Let's go back to the center and see what it does. Now splash from like the table and stuff can't change it. We'll do one forward. And then we'll stop it and kind of let it calm down a minute. Right there, let it calm down. I wouldn't say that's terrible. We'll do one to the right. And uh, center it again. That's not bad, a lot of that could be splashed. That's not terrible now. You could easily hold it in place. See how I'm just adjusting it ever so slightly with the stick. That's not a big deal. It would kind of be kind of difficult for a new pilot. This is your yaw rate, your spinning rate. That's rate one. Let's go to rate two. Two beeps. Here is your spinning rate. Get ready, because it's going to be crazy, probably. Faster. Like it. Whoops. Let's back it off. Got to watch it there. We're on rate three. So what we're going to do... Whoa. Oh, man, it's got some power on rate three. Holy smoke. And I can feel the wind from over here. I gotta really watch this. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, spin. Oh yeah, even faster. Way more pitch and yaw. It is agile for an altitude hold. And watch how fast. Ooh, I wrecked right there. That was on me. Watch how fast uh, the altitude climbs. Now I wrecked the wall. Didn't do anything. These blades are very minor. Of course, I'd probably recommend putting the guards on indoors just because it'll bounce instead of like falling down. It would kind of bounce off and continue to fly if you don't have too gnarly of a wreck. You always want to put it back down away from you. Uh, and a calibrate, both sticks in a 45 degree angle. You'll see the lights flash and then it stops. You let it go, it stops. So that's how you calibrate. Uh, let's manually take off. See how high it shoots up manually. So we'll unlock the motors, both sticks in, unlock the motors. And then we're gonna bump up. Still shoots it up a little bit. That's fine, because you're gonna typically be on the ground. And you're gonna use your thumbsticks and kinda, it is touchy. Back in rate one. So it is way more controllable in rate one. Now, let's, uh, I don't really wanna do a flip inside because I don't wreck it. Screw it, we'll try it. Here we go. Flip to the right. Uh, I'm gonna hit it and then shoot the air. Uh, it's not doing it. Why is it? Whoops. And of course I wrecked. So that's fine. No big deal. Uh, I was trying to hit the stunt button. I don't know if it does do it in rate one or not. So let's go ahead. Go back to rate one. We'll unlock the motors. We'll take off. And let me go ahead. Ooh. Let me go ahead and... Uh, man, this thing's got so much power. I don't know why. Let me go ahead and hit, hold it for two seconds, put it in training mode. 
Hear that long beep? This should be training mode. So let me slowly creep towards the wall, see what happens. Did it just pull back on its own? Is that me? Hold on, let's see. Watch. I'm not gonna hit anything. Let me act like I'm going forward slower towards. Uh, I don't know how well this training mode works. Let's do it again. Let's see. Maybe it has a delay. Let's do that again. Okay, this is what we'll do really quickly. See how quickly, how well, because this battery is going to last a while. Let's pop on these guards. It's not doing any damage to anything. Let's pop on these guards. Instead of having to wreck every time, we can kind of bounce off of it without hurting it. So remember, push them up, clip in. One of the easiest uh, prop guards I've ever seen. So remember, if you put on prop guards, it should add a little bit of weight, which may reduce the flight time ever so slightly. Half second, second, whatever it may be. Two seconds. Of course, having the video or... Uh, Video or pictures, you know, having other modes on may drain battery as well. So let's go ahead and do a calibration really quickly because that was kind of an gnarly rack. Calibrate it. Unlock motors. Take off. Man, this thing, even in right one, this thing has got power. Holy smokes. Is it limiting? Huh? There we go. Why is it not going down? It's like... Now it seems to be behaving differently. Did I finally put on the... See? With that, see how it just ever so slightly just gently bumped the wall? See that? And it came right back. So that's why you have the guards on and not indoors. Let's go ahead and land. That's a manual land. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know if I'm in the flight mode or not. Two beeps, that's rate two. Three beeps, back to one. Let's go ahead and do an auto takeoff. Lights are done flashing. Now, if they continue to flash, see now it's descending properly. See that? Lights flash, descend, light flash, descend. Up, up. It flashes as it goes down and up. That's a nice feature, you can see that, that it's changing. I don't know about the uh, obstacle avoidance. Like, for instance, I just barely tapped the water or anything. And the guards bounce me off instead of wrecking, clutching it, and then falling. The guards will just have you bounce off. So it does drift a little bit. Of course, the air splashing off the stuff outdoors it may do better. But it, I mean, look at that. This is rate one side to side. That's insane. Rate two, even faster. Look at that. I mean, this thing is going to be a zippy, uh, let's put it back at rate one, because rate two is, rate three is insane. So let's just land this for a second. Yes, it drifts a little bit, but it has the power to correct. Speed one, it's all I would do indoors. Speed two is fast. Speed three is insane. You can rip this thing outdoors on speed three. That's what I'm excited about. For some reason, the stunt button, I don't know if it's because it knows it's indoors or I was maybe in training mode, didn't want to flip. You're supposed to press and hold and then pick the direction. Uh, maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe I didn't press it, hold, and then hit it. Maybe I pressed it, then tried to hit it, and it didn't do anything. Of course, you still have your trim buttons, uh, the cell phone. We didn't do any video, the quality of video, or anything like that. Uh, take the pictures, clicking it once, and then press and hold. Two beeps, doing video. The lights are flashing. Press and hold. Videos off, the lights are done flashing. So it has indications for everything. It's okay, baby. It is It is the, definitely the drone uh, upsetting the dog. So come here, baby. Come on, boy. It's okay. Thank you. We're good. Thank you, baby. I'm probably not going to take off again just because it's aggravating him and it's so loud. So I got the feel for this drone. Power is excessive. I love that. It's got tons and tons of power. The guards work. You see me go forward and just bounce off the wall instead of about hitting it and then crashing. Uh, every uh, obstacle avoidance, I really couldn't get it to work. I don't know if it has to be trained or I didn't do something right. 
That seems more gimmicky. I would definitely probably rip this around outside because of the speed, unless you have a really, really big like living room or two-story house with a big opening or something where you can really rip this thing. Uh, I think the highlight is the speed and power of this thing. I, I don't care. A 720p video isn't that great. Maybe the SD card video is okay. Maybe if you're ripping around the house, that might be cooler outside, ripping really fast. But anything 720p to me is more gimmicky as a sale that it's a camera drone. Camera to me is like 1080p high definition quality SD card recording. There are drones that are cheap that are like that. Uh, but this one is feature packed. I don't know about the obstacle avoidance. We'll test that more. The stunt button should work. The speeds are fast. Auto take off and land. For altitude hold, it is fast. Really, really fast. Uh, and it could easily get away from you and wreck into something. Indoors, I definitely have these little bumpers. They just bounce right off the wall and keep flying instead of hitting it and then crashing, right? Uh, the motors are a little bit warm, but I wouldn't say it's terrible. It does have venting for the drone itself here. Uh, you know, it did hold the altitude. It just drifted. Optical flow would have held the altitude and held the position. But being a brown or whatever, it just kind of holds it. Uh, maybe I could trim it a little better. And there's a, nothing so much splashing. It's out and open. Maybe it does better outside. Uh, I did calibrate on this table. It should be technically level. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, what else? So yeah, I think that's gonna pretty much just about conclude it. I don't know the quality of the video or the range. I know the um, the controller has 200 feet range. The video, I wouldn't imagine is that far. This is definitely a line of sight drone. Wide lens, I mean, it may be decent video, uh, which we will test. And then as I'm as she's recording the actual line of sight drone, I will have picture in picture uh, video footage of the SD card or even the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the feed. Just let me know which one you guys wanna see. Uh, I'm starting to, oh, it turned off indication that it's been on so long. Or maybe the batteries are weak, that's weird it did that. No activity maybe, up, uh, down, can you rebind? Yep, I wonder if this will land if it loses signal. Uh, a lot of them have safety feature like that. I know about this one, obviously press and hold, let go, you turn it off. Same thing with the transmitter. If you accidentally bump it once like that, it's not going to turn off. You got to press and hold it like, oh, just keep that in mind. Uh, the controls feel okay. Uh, like I said, it did drift a little bit, but that could be with mine or that could be, you know, the because it this had so much air come out the body of these motors. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it was blasting air. It was almost moving this box from the wind, like, you know what I mean? It had quite a bit of thrust, and that can create splash, which would cause it to drift. That is true. But some of it has to do with uh, trims and calibrating it. So I'll mess with it a little more, see if it gets better. Uh, the power that it has, I don't think it even cares that these little things are on here. And the size battery. Uh, these will help protect the blades. You do got another set, but indoors, hands down, I would use these. Outdoors, to rip it for top speed. I would strip everything off of this as I could. Um, you know what I mean? The camera's well hidden. Hopefully it'll be okay. It seems like a pretty wide lens. I'm very curious about the footage for sure. Now you can do, I think, screen recording. I will get the app on here. I will kind of show a little bit of the setup, I guess. It's very simple. Just hit connect. You connect and make sure you have your Wi-Fi on. Connect to the, to the Wi-Fi of the drone. It's very simple. The password is always the last, the number part of the drone. Very, very simple stuff. I just know this from the other one I had. It does work. I just wish I could give you a battery. You think my wife can read this really quickly? See if my wife can read these numbers because I, I have no shot. So I'm gonna have her look at this and see if she can guess what that number is really quickly. Here, honey, can you guess what this number is? So it's the, it's the milliamp right there. It has like an indentation, indentation and it's hard to see. That number is. So it's kind of messed up. Yeah. If I had to guess, it's at least a five, like I mentioned before, I guarantee it's at least a 500 or bigger. Uh, could be up to a 600. 
maybe even an eight or a 900. It's just a very long, very thick, beefy boy. I mean, definitely at least a 500, I would have guessed. Maybe a six, I don't know, but uh, it kind of sucks the proprietary thing. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of, but this can be modified. I told you guys, I have an idea. If this gets plenty of views and you guys want to see it, I have no problem cutting the plastic, using this just as a door, you know, soldering a connector on here, charging this battery that way, because it is a 3.7 volt battery, soldering connector on this end, being able to use other batteries, basically having it long enough to where it comes out, plug it up, stick the battery in, and then pop the end piece just to hold the battery in, and then that's all we need. So it wouldn't be that bad to do a little solder gun action, a little wire, and two connectors, and other batteries as well. And you can buy batteries that are similar to this shape, similar capacity, of course, you can choose your connector. I like the little white connector. I think it's like JST 2.0 micro or something like that. Don't quote me, or 2.1 or something. Uh, there are different versions. You can use just good old fashioned red JST, uh, just whatever floats your boat or whatever you like. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, cell phone holder seems to be firm. Uh, let's see if it, how well it holds it out of curiosity. Because I know some of these phones can get expensive. Sure as heck don't want to drive like a thousand dollar iPhone <laughs> with this. Oh, it is grippy. Sorry for the shake, but yeah, it is grippy. And you can, oh, I can use this as a phone holder when I'm shooting a video. That could be so stable and smooth. Yep. So impressive stuff, guys. Um... The power is my main takeaway. The power is phenomenal. So stay tuned for the outdoor. I know the indoor was kind of crazy and hectic in this little space. Honestly, stay tuned for the outdoor rip. I think this thing is going to get it. Uh, don't forget it comes with a bunch of goodies. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, yeah, truly impressed. So stay tuned for the outdoor flight, guys. Uh, don't worry, I'll have all the video and Wi-Fi and everything going. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.